Today, for our math strategies video, we're going to be finding the missing add-in. So remember, add-ins are the numbers that we put together to find the total. But sometimes, in order to find these missing add-ins, we need to use subtraction. So let's go ahead and take a look at this number bond below. So if I have 7 as my total, and one of my add-ins is 3, how could I find the other add-in? Well, one way is I could use addition. I could think about 3 plus what gives me 7, okay? I could also think about it as subtraction. I could say 7 take away 3 gives me what number, all right? Another way I could use is my number bond, okay? I could take my manipulatives, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I have 7 as my total. If I put 3 of my cubes here, how many will I have as my other add-in? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? So I know that 3 and 4 together give me 7. Then I also know that 7 minus 3 gives me 4. So these are different ways that you can that you can use to find those missing add-ins. All right, let's try with another problem. This time we're going to use different add-ins and different totals. All right, so this time my total is 6, and I have an add-in of 1. What could this other one be? Again, let's use addition. So 1 plus what could give me 6, and 6 Take away one, give me what number? Okay, so I'm going to use my manipulatives again. So I have six total. I give one to this add in. How many am I going to have left over? Let's count one, two, three, four, five. Okay, because I know that one and five together make six. And I know that if I take one away from six, I'm going to have five. Okay. We also know that um, 1 and 5 are number partners of 6. Okay, so don't forget those important number partners. We're going to try one more. Again, we're going to use a different total and different add-ins here. This time our total is 8. One of our add-in is 5. What could the other add-in be? One thing we could do is we could think about addition, think about our number partners for 8. 5 and what together give us 8. And then I could also think about subtraction. 8 take away 5 is going to give me what number? So let's move back to our um, number bond here. And I have 6, 7, 8. If I give 5 to this add-in, how many are going to be in this add-in? Let's count one, two, three. So three and five, we know, will give us eight. And then if I take five away from eight, I'm gonna have three left over. So as we work some of these problems, you have realized how addition and subtraction can be related and how they can help you to find missing add-ins. 